And on to more stories making headlines in Alabama. Casey White will spend life behind bars after he pled guilty to first degree escape with former Lauderdale County Jailer Vicki White. His sentencing today. We also learned that White will be barred from any financial gain or benefit of any media, movies or contracts. Asking him for his side of the story. This is all thanks to Lisa's Law. Our Nixon Norman has more on Casey's sentencing and the impacts of Lisa's Law. Today, Casey White walked through those doors as he awaited his sentencing. Nearly two hours later, he walked through that exact doorway with a new sentence, life in prison. Both White and his defense team were vouching that he and Vicki were actually in love. He had mentioned that he loves Vicki with his whole heart, that she was the first person who had shown him any affection in six years, the first person who had given him a hug in six years. But that love and affection led him down a different road, he says, a road that cost him his life and freedom. Some people may say that, you know, she had the keys to his phone and he had the keys to her heart. Not only was Casey White sentenced to life in prison, he's also barred from any financial gain or benefit from any media about this story. This is all because of Lisa's law, a bill passed in the Alabama legislature that gives victims and their families the ability to prevent the convicted perpetrator from profiting off of crime books, movies, or other entertainment. Lisa's law was passed here in Alabama back in 2019. Like I said to the judge, I don't, you know, y'all try to figure it out. Good for something, well, something like this could happen because she was a good, good, decent, decent lady. And everybody we talked to in, in Lord, everybody we talked to said she, she was kind and she tried to help a lot of people. There was lots of talk of love and what's right and wrong in the courtroom today. There was also mention of this situation being a two-way street, that both Casey and Vicki played a role in these crimes. It's not all, I mean, it's, it's not all on Casey, the two-way street folks. I mean, uh, she had the keys to the jail. She's a great, a sweet, kind woman, but like I said before the judge, he didn't have the keys. He was in a cage. She had the keys. But this isn't the end for Casey White and his defense team. They have another case ahead of them. A capital murder case for the 2015 slaying of Connie Ridgeway in Rogersville, Alabama. We can't say a whole lot more than that because we have another case set for August the 14th, and that's a capital murder case. In Lauderdale County, I'm Nixon Norman, Fox 54 News.